So there's many ways which you can uh, rediscover your past life, but those are the main three ways, through meditation. And the way through meditation, I haven't said it yet, maybe I should have really said it you know, when I talk about jhanas. If you have a very deep meditation, very powerful, very still, very beautiful, as you come out, then you just mention the suggestion, it's a suggestion to the mind, what's my earliest memory? If it's going to work, it works immediately. A memory comes into your mind. And it's real. It's not like the memories of what you ate this morning. It's a re-experiencing of the event. You're back there. And you know, I've told this before, I don't mind saying this, it's not quite psychic powers, but it's pushing the envelope a little bit. I'm not allowed to say about and experience as my own previous lives, but what I do do to give you the, the idea, I was doing this once years ago, and what came into my, my consciousness was a smell. And you know, I asked, what's my earliest memory? And I got this smell in my nose. It wasn't in the hall where I was sitting. And I recognised it immediately. It was the smell of my baby's pram when I was maybe three or four weeks old. And with that smell just came all the memory. You could actually, eyes were closed. I was back in my baby's pram with all my little toys. And the one I liked the best was Porky the pig. <laughs> That's what my mother used to call it. You know, even though I'm not supposed to have a brain to remember that, I remember that. And it was a little pig, it had some like beans inside, plastic, and she used to walk it, you know, and make it rattle. And I loved that little pig, Porky the pig, my favourite toy is a little kid. And he could, he could actually look around, you know, feel just the, um, uh, the blankets or the sheets and the black and white of the, the pram. You could see everything. And you could actually like, you can move, just, you know, well, what's over there, what's over here? And this is all just in a re-imagination, not re, re-experiencing of an old memory. And you're back in your, when you're three or four weeks old. I don't know exactly how long, but maybe around that time. And that was how it works. And no doubt at all that that's you. Very clear, being able to move around. If you want to ask a question, you know, what was my name, who was that, you can get the answer straight away, just think and the answer comes. And that's what it's like, a re-experiencing. And of course, you know, I told that story to a few people just to check it out, and one interesting thing which I got from that, because I was never, you know, did any medicine, I was physics and maths, and I was told afterwards that in the first weeks of life, the dominant sense in a baby is smell. Now their hearing is not developed, even sight is not developed at all. And you recognise your surroundings and you recognise your mother in particular by her smell, not by her sight. So just because I'm a cheeky monk, I tell young mothers, when you've got a young kid, please do not change your perfume. Otherwise you'll confuse the hell out of your kid. They won't know who you are. You can change your hair, do you can dye your hair, you new clothes, that doesn't matter, but the smell is what your baby recognises. And you know, having been there and recalled it and you know, with using <coughs> meditation, it's no doubt that's actually what happens, you know that. That's how young babies recognise their surroundings by smells. So then you say earlier, please. And then if the mind is strong enough, you get earlier memories. Sometimes it's amazing you get time in your mum's womb. Feel what it's like, you know, to swimming around in the liquid. Or earlier, please. But if you try this, a few people have done this, there's a little problem, it's easy to fix. Sometimes you get your previous life and the most recent part of your previous life and the most um, powerful is your previous death. And a few people have got that and they don't want to do it again because it's obviously painful. You know, it's not just remembering, you're back there dying. You're feeling everything. So if that ever happens to you, get your previous life and you feel that you know, this is my death, immediately just say earlier please and you just move back, away from the death, you know, to a, uh, <coughs> a much easier experience from a previous life to, to, to deal with. So if you do get painful, earlier please, your mind will go straight back. At that time when you've had some really good meditation, your mind is just, as the Buddha said, it said malleable, workable, you just tell it what to do and it does it straight away, it's just perfectly obedient. 
and it just does it. So that's why you have to have the deep meditation first of all. If it works, it's going to work straight away. So don't say, you know, at my early memory, please, and nothing happens, and start to force it. It works straight away or not at all. So don't waste time. So that's how you can do it. And the reason why I encourage that is because there's too many people doubt. You know, reincarnation, it's a fact. It's not a fact of life, it's a fact of death. But it's still a fact. So, and it makes a great change the way you look at your life. You know, once you accept reincarnation, just the, this whole one life business, it's, you don't get so upset at things. Okay, so you lose your job. So what, you've had many jobs in many lives. So, you know, this time you get a cancer and you, know, you have bad luck or, you know, you lose a leg or something. That does not, if this is the only life you have, that's really, really hard to bear. But, you know, if it's one life amongst many, then okay, you know, the next one will be a bit better. So, you know, it gives a big picture. If you only had one day to live, you know, this day was the only one you ever had, that really sucks. You know, just, I wasted a whole day. That's my whole life. But if you know you can have many, 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 many days, it's not so important. You're much more at ease and at peace and much more mellow. That's why the, you know, getting people to understand reincarnation or rebirth really helps. That's why I really push it. Anyway, if you don't believe in rebirth in this life, aha, you will in your next. <laughs>